Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. This video is one I've been meaning to make for quite a while as it is one of the most frequently asked questions on the channel. And that question is, how do I boost my performance and why is my performance so low on my PC? Now there are a few reasons for bad performance when using CMU, especially in reference to Breath of the Wild. These issues can range from things like a PC with 8GB of RAM using an NVIDIA GPU, game updates not being correctly applied, or an incomplete or no shader cache being used. The NVIDIA issue is a driver based one which stems from how NVIDIA GPUs handle OpenGL shaders and is not one that can be fixed by the CMU team. The lead developer of CMU himself even went as far as asking Nvidia to fix the issue, but since this has been raised there has still been no word from Nvidia's side. Game updates that we have available to us not only make the game better in-game AI wise, but actually increase FPS across the board in most situations. And many people still suffer from laggy gameplay due to either running no shader cache and building one from scratch, which in my opinion is the best way to maximize your performance on your own personal PC, or not having a shader cache, believing the game and emulator is terrible and just giving up. However, this is only half the truth, and the main thing that is holding people back performance wise is their CPU. Now I get hundreds of comments every week involving CMU users with high-end GPUs, for example a GTX 1080 and a CPU like again for example an Intel i7 3770K. Now I do not have these parts to hand so I cannot personally test them, but what I do have is my neighbor's PC which is an i7 5820K 6 core 12 thread CPU and his high-end GPU which is also a GTX 1080. Now this 6 core CPU and high end GPU combination under normal usage circumstances is an amazing performer, but when faced with CMU it is a different story. Let's take a look at that. Ok, I know that there is no consistent way to benchmark Breath of the Wild, but for this test we decided to go to Kakariko Village and take a look at performance there as it is one of the more demanding places in game, and already you can see that the FPS is dropping down from 30 to 25, 24, 27, and we can even see here that it goes down as far as 20 FPS in some situations. Now this isn't performance that you would come to expect from a processor of both this price and quality, However, the problem with this CPU is that its boost clock is 3.6 GHz. Now I know that is quite a high clock and it will for any other game outside of CMU, even AAA games far into the future, this CPU will pump out performance for years. However, CMU at the minute does not work in this fashion, and we are about to see how CMU runs on a processor that is much less expensive, has less cores, but is overclocked to 4 GHz. Ok, so this is the exact same scene as close as we could get it, running on my laptop an Alienware 17, packing an i7 6820HK at 4GHz and also a GTX 1080, but the mobile variant. And as you can see, the performance is a lot more stable. Now this is exactly why people don't know why they are getting such bad performance, and the simple reason is that faster cores with CMU make your game run at higher frame rates. In this exact moment on the other CPU, which many would consider a better CPU, we were getting drops down to 20 and 24 FPS, while over on the mobile platform we almost had a solid 30. Cheers for checking out the video guys, I hope it answered a few of your questions. Remember to like it if you like it, and dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.